Hey guys, it's Shantae Brown Sugar Talk under Black Unicorns. I think it is anyway. I was trying something different today. But I don't think I can. I don't think I can download Twitter. I don't think Twitter downloads on my phone. On my on my fake phone. On my phone with no service, let's see. Twitter. So anyway, that's it. It's uh Shantae Brown Sugar Talk under Black Unicorns. I was gonna try Twitter today. It's like, you gotta have this to do it. So, let me just do my Instagram. It's on her, let's try, let's try to her on Twitter. I want to try it, see if it works. Try it and see if I like it. Let's do that. So, so I go here. Oh, there's a Twitter live. So, I'm trying it. Is it on? Oh, it's not on Wi Fi. The Wi Fi isn't on. Go figure. Go figure. So there we go. Twitter. Let's cancel that. Delete. Okay. So now I hit Twitter. Then you hit live. Yeah. And let's, how do we flip the camera? Go live. How do I flip the camera? You are now live. Okay, y'all. So I'm, I'm live on Twitter. 30. <gasps> are you serious? Hey, Twitter. Twitter. Anyway, it's Shantae Brown Sugar Talk under Black Unicorns. And it's like my first day going live on Twitter. I don't know how long it lasts or whatever, but uh, it'll still be under Black Unicorns on Instagram. Okay, here we go. Why is my screen up from yesterday? It didn't work yesterday. And now, what was my show yesterday with a uh, positive procrastination? Positive procrastination. It's still on her. That's so cool. Sure. Okay, so now post. No, no post. So now live. And there we go. So it was like holding it on to, oh, holding on to it for whatever. Anyway, this is Shantae Brown Sugar Talk under Black Unicorns and Brown Sugar Talk on Twitter. And so um, today is all about productivity. No, today is all about wellness. So tomorrow's productivity. I have no stories to tell today. Um, I'm going to reference Ralph Smart with from Infinite Waters on this show today because. This just like wellness just reminds me of him, and the di- and the dimensions of self care. So it's like, mm, you know that mm, feels so good to be alive, baby. Feels so good to be alive. So um yeah, infinite waters, deep diving once again, and I'm into his stuff, but I'm not into his stuff. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Because I know that it's a realm that we have to tap into, and it's like just some stuff I just don't want to do. I have to do it, but I don't want to do it. I know what to do, but I don't want to do it. So it's like, you know, like right here, 10 reasons you should never open your third eye or whatever. Like, it's like so many things that just like, because it's like in my life, it doesn't count. Like, it just doesn't matter. So it's like, you know, it's like, um, because I'm thinking that's just a reason. Like, I think you're just nosy. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like, really in life, you got to really focus on yourself. You got to really focus on the production that you have as a human. And then you will see your entire food chain and your life web or whatever. But it's, like, some stuff he talks about, I'm just like, uh, okay. It's true, but then it's, it's like, it's just not true for me. It's just a different way of life. Um... And I say tap into it. I mean, if if it makes you feel good, if it makes you feel like you're connected to earth and all that stuff, then do it. You know, because that's really all he's trying to do is open you up to, like, a connection to earth. That's it. Like, that's it. Like, most of his shows, that's what they do. They open you up to another connection to earth. I live a life. And I don't know. Like, I feel like some people don't know how to do that. So, like, when you have religion... In your life. Some people don't know how to live their life. Like I said, like, they'll be like, well, the Bible says I'm not supposed to have seafood because this is sin. And it's like, mm, nah. yeah, and it's like, nah. did the Bible say that? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like they're not comprehending what's really going on. So, um, that's the other thing. It's like, um, if you live your life, some of these things would just already happen. You live your life. It was just if you live your life and focus on yourself and the production of yourself, then it, some stuff will already happen. You know, like um, you might think that that's saying that it's like some people take that as like I'm gonna be totally selfish, and it's like it's not selfish. If you have a family, okay, so like so for, say for instance your life has two parents, and y'all are like really close or not even close. So, let's talk two scenarios. You close, then you not close, right? So, these are two different people. So, I'm close to my parents. So, now me and my parents go out to eat. My parents know my friends. My parents listen to me. My parents help me do stuff. They guide me, all this different stuff. Your parents are not close. So, now you have to find outside support when you have one of the houses, you know? So, now these teachers help you. Now these people help you. Now, like, all these people help. Like, you know what I'm saying? You still have friends, you know? Maybe you're close to one of your cousins. So, then that's really just, like, your only family and all this different stuff, right? So, in this house, not a lot of friends. Maybe you just it's just your parents and you and a dog and all this stuff. And then in this house, it's just, like, I got to find a different family, a new family sometimes when I'm hurt. So now that's how we get there. So then as you grow, you change, and you get new people and all this different stuff. So now your parents pass, and now you got to start finding outside support. You had a friend. Now the friend's gone. Now you find that support somewhere else. Now you're going to groups, and you're writing and doing all this stuff. And the same thing here. Now the friend is your best friend. Now the friend is your husband. Now y'all got kids, a dog, and a cat. So it's like in that journey, you will find peace and passage and your third eye and your job and your, um, you see what I'm saying? Like, all this stuff is just like a stuff, it just like actually flows through life, especially when you're focusing on your life. In that journey, you might find out like, oh my God, I love my parents so much and my mother had, um, my mother ended up having Alzheimer's. So now, when they, your parents passed away, you have developed something for Alzheimer's, for people to help with Alzheimer's. And you know how to treat them well. Because what I'm finding now is a lot of people don't know how to treat people because they've never been in a situation. So the parent in this household, I mean, so the person in this household has developed a way to help people with Alzheimer's. You see what I'm saying? They made enough money. They deserve, they they took the parents' money, invested it, in found, and developed a foundation to help them do that. All right. So to, over here in this household, this person has become a great parent. Just a great parent. So now they create something that'll help parents. Maybe they create a stroller company because the stroller didn't work right when they were doing that. And maybe now it's cheaper. It's $12 instead of 10 I mean, instead of 30 You know what I'm saying? So it's like you get a good you get a good stroller for this price. You see, because they found like a new sturdy material that's good to help babies. It'll wick off the water. It'll, you know what I'm saying? It's an umbrella. It's easy to open up. It's very convenient. It's light. It can go anywhere. Oh, my gosh. She almost put it on her fucking backpack. Like, she put it on her backpack. She don't even have to carry a purse. So, it's like, now you got two different individuals that are separate lives. But on the journey, they went through all the stuff that Ralph Smart is talking about. So, it's like, when people start to, like, try to break everything down into, like, all this other stuff, like, it's like, it's good to see the information but at the same time, it's also good to just live your life. 
And that's why I used to tell people when I was younger about the Bible. And my grandmother used to tell me, don't tell people that either. But I have to tell you, you just have to live your life because that's what is important. It's important for you to go through the steps of pain and pleasure and happiness and so- and sorrow and sadness and all this stuff. It's okay for you to do that. So that's why today's show is about wellness because, and and that's why I mentioned Ralph Smart, because sometimes you do, you sometimes you're just like, I, what the fuck just happened? It's a, it's a lady called Find, FindMeLoveShay.com, FindMeLoveShay.com. I'm going to try to remember to put it at the end of the video because I already put Ralph Smart on there, so I got to go back and hit it. But I'm going to put that on her. I'm talking about I'm in love with her. Like in one video, she answered all questions. Because have you ever been with a man and it's like you get an older after y'all have sex? And it's like, what the fuck? I'm talking about like, it's like most men you have an older after you have sex. What did it be like? A sweet smell? Like it's like, oh my God, we are so good together. It's so good. It was so nice. Ah, oh, ah, oh, you know. But then this man, I get an odor. Like, it's like a bad odor. Like, it's like, uh, we can't have sex because you fucking up my, you know, you fucking up my pussy, man. You know? So, it's like, she just was like, we just not compatible. And so, I see now because he's like one of my biggest enemies, too. Munya McConey. Like, it's like, Munya Ra, Fungi Munya Razi McConey. And it's like, he got a bad odor or something. So, it's like, you don't really want that on yourself. So, it's like, sometimes you find people and you're just like... This is the truth. You know what I'm saying? So then she was talking about how, um, because I always believe this too. Like, if you spend more time with a person, like, as your friend, you develop more feelings for them. You want to have more sex with them. I think they are actually sexier. The longer we wait, the sexier they are. It's like, by the end of that two years, I be, get your clothes off. Ah! And you just be like, I don't care if you're a fat boy, if he's skinny, whatever. It's just like, take the clothes off. Do not eat the rice. It be the most non-sexiest shit. I be, this motherfucker is sexy. You know, like, do not eat the raisins. Don't eat the raisins like that. You just, no. Don't drink your Metamucil. I mean, it just be shit that you just, this motherfucker be sexier than a motherfucker. You just, you just be like, oh my God. So it's something called Vesop, Vesopin or some Vesopin or whatever she was putting in her, it's like, um... Is this what it is? Vesipin or Vesip? Uh, plant? Is that what it is? I don't know. This is a, another word from another country. This is like... So, it was something that started with a V. And it was like, this is what happens over time. Like, men actually had this chemical release. And it's like, they like that. And it's also like, if you play sports and stuff with them and stuff, it's like, you just become, first off, closer and then it's like close, get a, like every extra dry. But it's like you become closer, you become more involved with each other and everything. So it's like, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. So it's like, that's how people are like, oh my God, her boyfriend is fine. It's always my friend. And most times I don't ever be with him. It's like, because I actually have to, I sneak around with other guys, you know, that are my boyfriend. So it's like, um, yeah, I don't know why I do that. Like, I just never let them know who I'm dating. And so, um, that's it. It's just like, I don't know. It's something something that they develop. But it's Find Me Love Shay. That's a page. And it's like, I think that that is somebody that we need to, like, really tap into, too. Because it's like, she is so fucking cute. And it's like, all the stuff. Like, she's like, well, if you're more feminine, then it becomes then men are more attracted to you and all this different stuff. And so, like, some of my friends, like, they know me as a tomboy, and then some of them be like, I've never seen her be a tomboy in my life. Like, she has never fought me in her life. And then some of them be like, she be beat my ass. Like, it's just like, so, um, that's what it is. It's like, I just really did like how she just opened up and just had all those answers to the questions and all this different stuff. So, it's like, sometimes you have to, like, actually go out and see what it is to, to get your questions answered. So I don't think it's wrong for you to look at any of the videos by him. That's why I always like kind of um, tell people about him because it's something that you can just like re- for real tap into. But then once you tap into it, you'll find yourself like, oh, okay, now that I know I can move on with my life. Or now that I know I can just keep living my life the same way because nothing really changes. You know, nothing really changes unless you see that it can physically happen. Okay, so the dimensions of self-care. 
physical self care. It involves your fitness and your sleep habits. So make sure you are working out. That was my like I hated that my appointment was like so late on Monday. Like it was like I've been trying to get to the gym since I moved back since I moved into St. Louis. So it's like now I'm close to places where I could just probably go to a gym every day. So um, make sure that you're keeping yourself healthy. I'm trying to walk and stuff. At first, my back was hurting because I had to carry my backpack more and stuff like that. So, all that stuff makes a difference. When I was in Alton, I was going to the gym every day. So, this motherfucker wants to capture me at the gym, too. So, you see, so now Lotto has a video of going to the gym and all that shit. Intellectual self-care involves your personal growth. Um, It's like a continuous pursuit of learning and education. Art of Education has graduate classes. And I, I want to see how much they cost. Because I actually like their website, and I think they stole some stuff from me, too. So, it's like some of the stuff that they were doing was actually out of my classroom, too. So, and remember, I wanted the classroom, so I thought, oh, my God, that's so cool um, that they did this. And it's like, I could have did this, too. I could have just put, put this online. So, I'm not saying that it's anybody's fault. I'm just saying stop stealing. I know that it, it happened because I looked at some of the lessons. So I was like, yeah, that's some of me. So, anyway, they have a master's degree program. And I'm thinking you can pay like you pay for everything else. Because I, I was paying for this. I think I was paying like 20 something dollars a month. So, um, that's it. Oh, I clicked and then something came up. Uh, e. Kyle Nam- Namako. He's, um, oh my God, it's $15,000. $15,064. Uh, I already have a master's. I need a doctorate. But that's it. 100% online, no travel required. Work at your own pace. Graduate graduate in 18 to 24 months. I probably graduated in 15. I'm sorry. I just do the work. $15,064, including tuition and fees. If I got the money, I could probably graduate that quick. But yeah, I see. I see... Uh, it's good because a lot of schools don't offer, except for full sale, a lot of schools don't offer a lot of masters in art. So, and this is for art education. I would probably just want it in art. All right, next. Social self care involves having a supportive network of people. You can, so I mean, that's two things. Art of education. What did I, who else did I say? Oh, find me love, Shay. Find me love Shay, and it's that actual website. She does like um, different, I guess, workshops and stuff. So I think you can pay her and all that stuff. You can give her some, some dividends, and she'll help you. But yeah, I'm gonna try to put those on her. So social self care involves having a supportive network of people you can turn to when you, when need uplifting, guiding, or someone to talk to. And that's where social media comes in. Because a lot of people will be like, well, get off social media. And I see why. Because some of y'all like to follow people and do what they did and do the last video and do the TikTok and all this different stuff. Um, Once you start to feel jealousy and hatred and envy and all this stuff, get off social media. But I say social media sometimes helps because sometimes you're in a small area or sometimes like you're in a situation where that's why ICQ really helped me. Like, ICQ really helped me on on SIUE's campus, Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville campus, because it was, like, other people I could talk to on ICQ. I just used to chat on ICQ, like, all the fucking time. So, that's it. Like, it's just, like, um, sometimes this shit really does help. That's why it's so important for us to have it, so that I can see somebody else out there has a question like me or somebody else out there is the same size as me or somebody else out there is the same hair color as me or somebody else out there had their hair juicy and wet and now that son of a bitch is dried up y'all see how i'm I'm talking about it was shaking this morning y'all i was just in the shower shaking and shit i'm talking i have came outside there is no moisture in my fucking hair um i put like two greases in my hair the rosemary grease and I put in that's the liquid grease and I also put in the coconut oil grease and I'm talking about it was really juicy I did not look my heart is like it was like right here baby I had like flip it going this way I had to comb it and then push it this way so it wouldn't go into my eyes and look at it now look at me now 
Look at me now. It's all straight up. Okay, spiritual. Spiritual self care involves the beliefs and, v- and values that guide your life. Um, if you listen to my story, you will know that really, you gotta pray. This includes practices that help nourish your soul, seek understanding, and explore your spiritual life. They took prayer out of school and stuff, and I, I don't know, like it's like I'm not really big into all this stuff, but you gotta know how to pray. Or else you will have a demon on you for the rest of your fucking life. You got to know how to pray. And you got to want it off you too. You got to see that it's a demon. You got to see what you're doing is hateful. And so the only way to do that is like to actually just really come to terms with how you are helping people or not. So the spiritual part is really important. Emotional self-care involves awareness of your feelings and emotions. Dealing with stress positively and cultivating a sense of passion, kindness, and a love for ourselves. So that's it. So the emotional is like um, staying aware of your feelings. Um, you got to positively deal with stress. So um, next week I talk about DBT and I talk about it through blessing and manifesting. And she has like a $5 DBT book manual or whatever. So uh, that's like something that like deals with mood disorders and stuff and how and CBT. So CBT that's the cognitive behavior therapy. So both of them are just trying to replace um and really the DBT is just an ABC. It's a more in depth ABC. What happened for me to have this issue, what happened during me having this issue and what happened after the issue and now how do I change it? So uh the C B T is kinda like Cognitive behavior therapy is like doing the same thing. You're still asking yourself, so how do I change it? What am I replacing this with? Um, Dealing with stress positively. Cultivating a sense of compassion. So it's like more empathy towards people. Kindness and a love for ourselves and others. That's why it's important like to even look at rap smart. That's why I ask people now, stop creating content. What, what, what type of work did you do? What What type of work did you put into it? Y'all can look at my stories and listen to my show and then create all this different shit. And it's like, but what type of work did you do? So that's the difference between why I listen to Tabitha Brown as opposed to B. Mac Wrights. Because I know for sure that Tabitha Brown had a hard time going through a lot of shit. Like, she went through a lot of shit, too. Her and her family went through, they do, they dealt with a lot of bullshit. And so then you have one person be Mac Rice, and it's just like all I see is like you just um, giving more content from from rapists. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm already over the rape. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like who are you talking to? And so even if I wasn't through with it, I would still be pissed off because it's just like you were actually just using the content that I gave to rapists. And Tabitha Brown is just really saying, this is from my own personal experience. This is from what I saw. And so that's the difference in how I look at stuff and how I support and how I figure out who it is that has a balance or not. I just, I I, I have a low tolerance for bullshit. I really do. Um, So let's move on to the next one. Ten herbs that heal. So if you're coughing, add rosemary. It goes well with, I'm going to, actually, the Pinterest board is actually now on, I did not know I could share the Pinterest board, y'all, so now just make the Pinterest board and share. So, if you really want to see these, you could just look, look, up, look, click on the link and you'll see the Pinterest board. You got a crampy tummy ab mint, you see, because it's a muscle. Um, You got menstrual, menstrual cramps, add oregano. Achy joints, add curry powder. And y'all, a fucking curry from a, from um what are these places the Indian restaurants it's so good just get you some and don't forget to do an Ayurveda so if you do an Ayurveda test which I, I know I always talk about the same stuff Ayurveda put that on there too if you do an Ayurveda test it'll actually help you with your diet and what's great for you and what you can um and what you can change in your diet, all this stuff. Um, add deal if you got a GI tract, a upset GI tract. Bloated, add parsley. Congested, add congested, 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 add cayenne. Feeling down, add basil. Feeling tired, add cilantro. Having nausea, add ginger. 
So, um, this is just like all about, and it tells you like on the graphic, like what it goes with, what it goes good with and all this stuff. I'm not going into that because, you know, I just, but some of these herbs, these healing herbs, they really do help. And I think um, Infinite Waters talks about this too. He talks about the food, like the, the food that has the highest is the uh, watercress or something like that that has the highest, uh, most helpful things or whatever, you know. So just make sure you just tap into that, okay? So that's the wellness show for today. Please have a great day. Please. I'm so happy that I don't have a real stalking story to, de- to tell. I actually went to the uh, shelter last night and just went to sleep. I didn't have any problems from the lady next to me. Um, this morning I asked, last night I felt like this man wanted to hold my hand in his sleep. So I woke up this morning, I was like, do you want to hold my hand tonight when we go to sleep? And he said no, but he's not a Libra. His birthday is in April. So he's just one of those funny signs. He's not a cancer or a Libra, so fuck him. Fuck him, you don't have to hold my fucking hand. I'm so used to cursing. It's like I had to get that out. Y'all see I'm traumatizing myself. But, yeah, I have, like, nothing to tell you. Like, yesterday was an appreciated day. Uh, this morning, I had a bunny rabbit that, like, would not, did not want to cross the street. And I was like, huh, yeah. I was like, the bunny rabbit's like, huh, huh, huh. It's, like, so cute. Like, this little bunny rabbit. I thought it was a fucking squirrel or a chipmunk. And it's like, no, but it hops. So, anyway, it, was, it didn't want to cross the street. And it was, like, coming to me to, like, pick it up. I'm like, is this shit for real? So, the fucked up part is, when I tried to, like, try to turn it around, which was not on camera, because I got it on camera, I actually tipped the fucking bunny rabbit over. When I tipped the bunny rabbit over, the bunny rabbit is still doing this to, like, hop. Like, is this shit real? You know what I'm saying? So, I helped the bunny rabbit back up. I tipped the bunny rabbit over a fucking gin. And everything is telling me, just take the fucking bunny with you. Just take the fucking bunny with you to go take the fucking shower. Like, you could just sneak this little motherfucker anywhere, and it is the truth. I could have just kept the fucking bunny rabbit. So, anyway, that's it. That's all. And, I mean, he could eat with me all day because I eat, like, vegetables and fruit and all that shit. I even sit out there and eat the fucking grass with the bunny rabbit. It does not matter. But, anyway, that's it. I had a great show. I mean, I had a great yesterday. And hopefully y'all have a great today. So yeah, that's it. Shantae Brown Sugar Talk on the Black Unicorns. And I'm on the Brown Sugar Talk on Twitter. Telling you guys to have like the greatest day.